Alright, so if you've looked at my catalogue of videos, you could probably assume that I'm a LEGO Star Wars fanboy. Growing up, that was far from the truth. My favourite LEGO theme, growing up, uncontested, was LEGO Ninjago. It's gonna be a good one, so uh, you know, strap in your seatbelts and get ready for some very, very strange head sculpts. Alright, to add a bit of suspense to this, I think we'll go, we'll go in price order, I think, just to make things a bit interesting. So you gotta wait for the big boys. Alright, so I guess to start off our journey, we're gonna go for some pretty basic snakes. So coming in at a whopping £2.50 market value, Lasher. You're gonna, <laughs> one thing you're gonna discover with these names, they're interesting or uninspired. There's no in between. So this is a pretty basic looking minifigure as far as this theme is concerned because it gets weird and wacky. The detailing on this guy is alright. It is the closest to a regular minifigure we're going to get today. This minifigure here was used as a base and reprinted a couple of times. One such example is Rattler. Exact same minifigure, just different colours. And there's a look at the back. There's a snake's tail, I guess. Okay, so that was kind of tier one. Tier one weirdness. Moving up to tier two, we've got something like this. Uh, it's tier two because... You know, you have the printing, the very snake-like printing, but get a vibe of that head sculpt. Although, as a snake, I'm not quite sure what it needs the bombs for, but look at them teeth. Them teeth look more threatening to me, I'm going to be honest. I also believe that that snake was also reprinted into a different one. Same tier of weirdness. We've got this little fella here. Who got the name? You know, I'm not even going to try it. Just there you go. <laughs> uh, we've got an interesting looking head sculpt again, along with a regular minifigure body. But this was before the wonders of uh, arm and uh, feet printing. We're going to move up to, I don't know, tier two and a half weirdness. <laughs> also, I, uh, these are the only examples I have left. The only examples that survived the purge. All right, tier two and a half weirdness. We've got something like this guy. Minifigure body, but with a far more interesting looking head sculpt. I say tier two and a half because he, he doesn't quite get to the next tier of weirdness, but he's still got a very interesting and probably expensive head sculpt. Uh, but again, the printing on these are okay. Like I said, these are quite early figs, I guess. I mean, they're over 10 years old at this point. Same two and a half weirdness category. We've got something like this, a pretty out there head sculpt. They don't do like weird and wild head sculpts like this anymore. I mean, hey, look. You've seen this guy before, if you've watched the channel. I'll link that video up there. This is, I mean, this might even be a step above, but two heads. God, I wish LEGO did something like this now. God, if you pair this with an interesting looking torso, maybe some arm printing and some feet printing. Oh, there was weird. There was wonderful. But what if I told you? What if I told you there was a step above that? Before we get to that, let's talk about the ninjas. So I guess as a kid, I didn't really care about the ninjas as much as the snakes. So the only examples of ninjas I can show you are from LEGO Dimensions, with a couple from Rise of the Snakes. So this is kind of a vibe on the original ninjas. Very, very nice looking printing on these figures. No arm or feet printing, sadly. A big part of a big part of the earlier theme were those weapons. Because there's a scythe there. There's a really nice mold for this uh, golden sword here. All right, but uh, so something that was from around Rise of the Snakes. We got this fella. This is kind of what your ninja would look like as a part of this theme. They look pretty decent printing. And also this back piece here. I love these back pieces. Because it's a spot. Come on now. Come on. In there. In you get. It's a space for two swords. You can put one going the other way as well. And I think it looks pretty good. This is Lloyd ZX. We've got um, to go alongside with this one. I mean, first of all, the printing looks so much cooler on this. Come on now. The green with the black. But this is Lloyd the Final Battle Edition and came in the Ninjago character encyclopedia. So, okay, same figure, two different types of printing. And if you go on Brick Economy and just type Lloyd, oh my god, there's like a hundred different versions. <laughs> so good luck to those people collecting all of them. And god, there's so many. That's not even the last example I can show you. I mean, it's the coolest example, but did someone say gold? I mean, come on, it's a pure gold minifigure. This guy looks so good. Again, the time before arm and feet printing. Those were dark days. Those were very dark days. Gold head print as well. How often do you see gold head prints? It looks very strange. You've been patient. Let's so let's go to tier three on the weirdness scale. This is tier three. This is a Sidicus and is valued at £39. So pretty collectible. Why is it so weird? I mean, first of all, we've got that weird head sculpt. But second of all, where is his legs? Where's his legs gone? <laughs> It does look like two pieces, actually. Look at that seam is. Don't try and separate them, alright? <laughs> God, that, that snake piece, though. 
I don't think a Lego has done anything like this before. I think they might have reused it for a Medusa minifigure. But other than that, I haven't seen this outside of Ninjago. And I would absolutely love to see what they would do with it. So the reason for it looking like there's a seam is the bit that connects to the minifigure is made of hard plastic. Whereas the, the taily bit, as you can see here, is made of rubber. I mean, I do have another example of this. I just got just get a vibe of that head print. <laughs> just like a banana as it curls around the back of his head. So just before we end off the video, I do only primarily have, say primarily, almost entirely, <laughs> Rise of the Snake stuff. I do have one minifigure though from not the next sub-theme, but the sub-theme after that, which I think was called Rebooted, I do believe. General Cryptor, for as cool as he looks, I don't think he's worth that much. But hey, you got mismatched arms, decent enough looking printing, a very, very cool looking uh, shoulder piece there. But yeah, that's it. That's the wild world of Lego Ninjago Rise of the Snakes. Being specific, one of my favorite Lego sub-themes of all time. But I just have a lot more Star Wars, so... <laughs>